Hello, I'm Brent, and I'm a member of Uniting for Change, a grassroots self-advocacy network in Georgia, who believes that voting is one way we use our voice for change. We are working with self-advocates on uniting Georgians in influencing change by speaking up and taking control of our lives. We are asking all self-advocates to learn about and register to vote. You must register by October 5th, so please do it right away if you have never registered before. To vote in Georgia, you must be a citizen of the United States, live in the county where you will vote in Georgia, and be at least 18 years old by November 3rd, our election day this year. You cannot register to vote if you have been convicted of a felony, and haven't completed your sentence, including probation or parole. You cannot register to vote if the judge and a court said you cannot vote. If you have a legal guardian, the order from the court must be signed by a judge saying you cannot vote. If you have a legal guardian and the order from the court signed by a judge does not remove your right to vote, then you are able to register and vote in election. In Georgia, there are a few ways to register to vote. I'm going to walk you through these so you know your options about getting registered. You can register to vote online, through the mail, or in person. To register online, you must have a valid driver's license or a valid Georgia identification card, and your signature has to be on file at the Department of Driver Services from when you were issued your license or ID card. You will be asked to enter the numbers from your license or valid ID card when you register. Go to registervote.soa.ga.gov and complete the form. To register to vote by printing your application and mailing in, go to register to vote sos.ga.gov. This is what you need to do if you do not have a license or ID card without a Georgia driver's license or Georgia ID. You will need to provide the last four digits of your social security number. Follow the steps to fill in the form online. Print it and sign it with an ink pen your application in an envelope with a copy of your valid ID, and you can mail it to your county's local election office. Also call the county board of registrar's office. You can find this by searching the name of your county and registrar's office online. You must have your registration form in the mail before October 5th. Please do it quickly so you can vote for our upcoming elections. You can also pick up an application to register to vote. Contact your local election office for information on when and where to register to vote in person. Typically, you can get voter registration forms at your public library. If you do not want to register online, you must have your valid ID. This can be a valid state or federal government photo ID, including the free ID card from your county registrar's office or a Georgia Department of Driver Services. A Georgia's driver's license, even if they expire, a valid photo ID, if you are a state or government employee, a valid U.S. passport, a valid U.S. military photo ID, or a valid tribal photo ID. If you have problems registering to vote or additional questions, contact your county's registrar office or local election office. If you do not get the help you need there, you can contact the Secretary of State Selections Office at area code 404 656-2871. After you submit your voter registration form, you should receive a response in about two to four weeks. If you don't, you need to contact your county registrar's office to follow up on the application you submitted. If you have already registered to vote in Georgia and you want to confirm your registration, go to the Georgia My Voter page at www.mvp sos.ga.gov. Here you enter your first initial, last name, county, where you live, and your date of birth. When you submit this, you'll get to the My Voter page where you can see all kinds of good information like polling place for in-person voting, a list of current elected 
officials, a link to request an absentee ballot, a link to find early voting locations and times, and a link to view a sample ballot like the one you'll use to vote. Sample ballot is worth finding and you can print it out. It shows all the candidates who are running for the different offices, any proposed constitution amendments, and any statewide referendums that will be on your ballot when you cast your vote. You should look at this and do your research so you're sure to vote for candidates who believe in what you believe and want to see in our communities in Georgia and in our country. Remember, your voice, your vote, this is your right as a citizen, and it is important that you rise up and speak out from now through election day. Voters with disability-related issues can call the Georgia Advocacy Office for assistance. You have trouble registering to vote, requesting an absentee ballot, accessing early voting, or other voting and disability-related issues. The number is 1-800-537-2329. Leave a message on the voter hotline and someone will contact you within two business days.